just to say, I've just spoken to her. It was frankly hilarious. So I was like, <laughs> you're not getting much sympathy from Ben, are you? No, exactly. Also this morning, Detective... Also another sports news for you this morning after spending more than half a billion pounds on new... Oh, good for her. She is just phenomenal. Very well deserved that win. And I know yeah. we've got another winner on... Amazing. Steve, she's heading... <laughs> anyway. Also this morning, the man who murdered nine... In sports news this morning, after spending more than half a billion pounds on new... Congratulations to her. And what a great message. Don't let anyone tell you it isn't possible. Keep watching. As did Arlene Phillips, who's going to do... Yeah. Hello, good morning. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has vowed to, in his words, stop at nothing to help police stamp out child grooming gangs. A new task force is being set up to target the criminals involved and police will be given more support, including the go-ahead to use data on ethnicity as part of their investigations. Critics, however, have warned that an excessive focus on race could create blind spots. Jonathan Swain has this report. It was a now, in the next few hours, Donald Trump will set off from his home in Florida to travel to New York, where he faces an historic court appearance. It's the first time a former US president has faced criminal charges. Now, in a world first, referees at grassroots football games in England are being given body cams in a bid to protect them from physical and verbal abuse. The trial follows a survey which found almost 98% said they'd been targeted by spectators, players, coaches or managers. Gargi Patel has more. Good morning. The Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has vowed to, in his words, stop at nothing to help police stamp out child grooming gangs. A new task force is being set up to target the criminals involved and police will be given more support, including the go-ahead to use data on ethnicity as part of their investigations. Critics, however, have warned that an excessive focus on race could create blind spots. Jonathan Swain has this report. It was in the next few hours, Donald Trump will set off from his home in Florida to travel to New York, where he faces an historic court appearance. It is the first time a former US president has faced criminal charges. Our North America refused to be handcuffed when he hands himself over. Morning. Now to Jonathan, who's at Westminster for us with more details on this. And Jonathan, an independent report has called the grooming gangs a national scandal. Well, she... Haven't we, Dame Marlene Phillips? Marlene Phillips, on yes. yes. For her choreography. Yep. Looking forward to seeing her. Looking fabulous as well. She has I chocolate. Look well, I'm not suggesting that you should. <laughs> when he hands himself over. Keep going, she did Keep it. going, she did it. And she's and doing yeah. it really well. And, uh, yeah, and exactly that positive spirit creates luck. Yeah.